much to Nick, Thank, thanks very much to the PMP for this uh, wonderful evening. And I have to thank this country. This country has given me freedom, has given me a family, it's here that I married, and uh, five of my children were born uh, in this country. So I will love this country a lot, because in the time of need, in the time of difficulty, and we were in a big time of difficulty, this country, but this country is not an imaginative thing, the people of this country show to be fair, to have a sense of justice, to have a, a, a tendency to judge people on the basis of the, what they were doing and what they were saying. And this, in this instance, I really think that uh, the experience I got from, uh, from England, from this country, is enormous. And it is true. The fact of that few brains met in 1981, we took about nearly 30 years ago. And we were, I wouldn't call them young Turks as we said before, because we were fighting against uh, the actual Turk in Europe, but young lions. People who really wanted to change things, to revolutionize them in a good way. And that this thing is, has, throughout the years, create a wave of political events and we are not at the end of it. We are probably at the middle level, maybe at the beginning. All that wave of accusation disappeared in few years. What actually appeared that there was a section of the state that had made a fabricated evidence to try to involve a group of us in that terrible massacre. But finally justice arrived and they were convicted in Italian court and they spent nine years of imprisonment, imprisonment for fabrication of evidence and calumny. <laughs> but again, in Italy things are quite funny, so you are innocent, but you have to stay out. So they managed to convict us for political offense political conspiracy, they, they, they call it, and they managed to keep me and others out of Italy for nearly 20 years. But already in the last few years, from 1997, 29th of September 1997, from London, from other towns of, of Europe, in a lot of towns in Italy, we made a solemn promise and that day we formed a movement which was called, and I have to be called that way, Costa Nova, the new force. Because in a way it is true what was said before by me. We take a lot of ideology from the past, but from the real past. I heard today talking about the Greek and Roman tradition. They are very, very important. In Europe we have so solid traditions that still can forge a beautiful future that we could attach to those traditions and be totally modern. Our language was modern, we were all young, and we were still young, and we were creating something completely new to the, new, to the Italian establishment. The Italian establishment was trying to be corrupt, as usual, and there was need of a change. And in these years, what has happened, that a lot of our ideas have become mainstream ideas. And this is an, an important point that I really want to stress, because a lot of people stand here, but when is the day going to come? When the train is going to pass? When is going to be the day of national reawakening? Well, that day we do not know. We do not know that day, but we can work towards that day. The one, one bright day will come. And we have to be ready. We have to be ready in structure. We have to be present all over the country. We have to be present in any small village. We have to be known by people. I said, I heard before, people know us, appreciate us, and they know that we are the opposition. If the PNP establishes, as it is establishing, in any small village of this country, when that day will come, there will be a natural uh, following of the, all the people of this country uh, towards, the, towards the British National Party. And this is the way we sort of we worked throughout these years. 
Okay, national elections are very, very important because, because they can focus people on your presence. And it's a fact, at least in Italy. Here probably you're not as lucky as we are, but at least in Italy, in the four weeks before the elections, the leaders, in the case of Costa Noir, it was me, appear on television all the time. And they can say whatever they want. And they have prime time television. They don't put you at four o'clock in the morning. They, can, they, can, they have to listen to you at nine o'clock in the evening. And you are there with other main politicians. And you can, you can kill them if you want from an obviously direct point of view. And this is a very important moment. And you cannot think how many people the day after, the days after, the months after, stop in the street and say, you were right, you are right, your ideas are winning. Now, in Italy something funny is happening. Don't think about uh, the Berlusconi sort of uh, stories, they're not interesting for us. What is interesting is that the country is going towards nationalism very, very quickly. It's going towards traditionalism very, very quickly, and it's faster than the government. We can just pick it up. We say all the most radical things, and people say, yes, you're right. I just say a few of them. During the last election, I said, we are saying this, exactly the same thing. Withdraw our militaries from uh, Afghanistan. They shouldn't be there. We have almost, almost, we have also forgotten why we were there. Yeah, it was 2001, 11 of September. But people, I think, have forgotten. As people have forgotten why our soldiers were in Iraq for the weapons of mass destruction. But we were still there, we were still dying. People were dying, and this ongoing war just done because of the Americans, for the Americans, were going on. And so I said, we draw the soldiers from Afghanistan and put them in our, in our peripheries, the peripheries of towns like Rome, Milan where the immigration is so wild that our women cannot walk in the street or send them where the areas <laughs> and send them in the areas where the mafia is still militarily strong this is a fact this is a shame for Italy we have entire regions still controlled by mafia and what I've advocated in the last election is dissolve immediately all the regional governments because they are uh, definitely connected with mafia. Bring the military in even in the regional governments. They have to run it. There is the only political class that can run those areas are the militaries. This is something that people have accepted as the only solution. The other thing I said, stop the Schengen Agreement. Well, this is something that you have in England. You're lucky. You have a border. People check passports. But if we have had in Italy a wave of immigrants that is so absurd, especially from areas like Romania. And we know that in Romania there are Romanians, but there are two million gypsies. And in the last five years we got 150,000 gypsies in Italy settled in the way they settled. They just put camps they steal whatever is around and they become a threat to our women. And this is something that I'm proud to say. Before I say something I was ashamed of, which is mafia, there's something I'm proud of. When our women got attacked, especially in the era of Rome, there was a popular uprising. People went in the street, people challenged the gypsies and people challenged even...